Hello and welcome back to my shop. Today I'd like to talk with you a little bit about preparing deer antler for pin blanks. Before I get started, I'd like to take just a moment and talk about a fellow YouTube woodworker. This gentleman's name is J.D. Ransom. J.D. is not new to woodworking, but he is new to making YouTube videos. On his channel, I believe he's only done two videos to this point. But the reason why I want to point JD out to you guys is a lot of wood turners do segmented turning. There are a lot of woodworkers out there who like to work with their bandsaw and make bandsaw boxes. In JD's most recent video, he's combined the best of both of those worlds. He makes a segmented bandsaw box. Now this video is really worth checking out. Uh, I think you're going to enjoy seeing what JD's done with this box. After you've finished watching my video, and after you've liked it and commented, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that as well, then down in my comments, I'm going to put a link to JD's segmented bandsaw box. Follow that link, check it out, and I'm telling you, let JD know, comment on it. Let him know what you think about it and encourage him to do more videos because this guy obviously has talent and we need him to share that talent freely with us. So let's get back to the topic at hand. When I first started turning deer antler, and you'll notice deer antler, it's not like a pin blank. I mean, it's, it's curved and it's, it's different sizes and it's extremely tough to drill an antler and not blow out the outside or the inside of the antler because you can't hold it properly in your vise. Now a while back, you guys might remember, I built a small stock jointing jig for my table saw. I'm going to use that jig in this video to be able to take my antler, which starts out curved, I shave the sides off of it and make it more of a uniform shape. It's never going to be perfect, but more of a uniform shape that's much easier to grasp in your vise and be able to drill straight down through the blank without blowing out one of the sides. Now I'm gonna put a link to my small stock joining jig also in the comments down below. Uh, so after you watch the video, if you wanna see how I made that jig, uh, please follow that link and check out the video. Before I get started, there's one other thing that I wanna mention. Whatever you do, please do not work with deer antler without some form of protection for your mouth and nose. I have this mask here. Um, deer antler, when you turn it, you don't want to get that dust in your lungs. It's extremely nasty. Uh, so I wear this, this uh, mask, which basically keeps the dust out of my lungs. It also kind of cuts down a little bit on the smell um, because you'll notice when you drill your antler out, uh, it's going to heat up and it's going to give off a burnt flesh smell. It really stinks. So get yourself some protection. At least get a, a, a basic dust mask. Wear that while you turn and protect your lungs. And without any further ado, Let's get on with the video. I want to start by cutting off a section of antler equivalent to or a little longer than the barrel that came with the pen. I'm using my small stock jointing jig to cut the antler to size. What I've done is I've taken one arm and I'm using that to hold the antler down. I'm using a second arm locked in behind the antler to keep it from moving forward as I push it through the blade. I'm able to do two antlers at a time with this jig. Antler can be notoriously difficult to drill a straight hole uh, down the center of the piece because there's so much curve in it. What I like to do is, using my jig once again, I like to kind of square the pieces up a little bit so that they fit comfortably in my vise and I can drill straight down through the piece of antler. Now that my antler has been trimmed to the proper length to fit the tubes and I've squared it up a little bit, it'll be nice and easy to hold in my vise on my drill press and I should be able to drill a hole perfectly straight right down through the center of both of these pieces. You can see how nicely that uh, deer antler fits into the vise and how perfectly straight it is which is going to make drilling down through it a piece of cake.
perfect. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope this technique will help anyone out there considering making a pin out of antler or any type of, uh, of an antler stock. I know there's buffalo horn and there's elk antler. I hope this video simplifies the process for you from the beginning. I didn't know about this in the beginning. I didn't do it this way in the beginning. And I sure wasted a lot of antler uh, by not being able to hold it properly and drill down through it. So if you like this video, please let me know. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you're not already a subscriber, I invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for joining me today in the shop. And please come back and join me again in the future. Have a great day and happy woodworking.